Hi and welcome to part 4 in this mini-series on B1UP special keywords. In uh, this one we're looking at the table keywords. Uh, so let's go into business one and see what it's all about. So here we have the table keywords uh, on a normal universal function message but again they can be used anywhere and uh, the table uh, keywords is to get what table is the primary table and what identifier that is on a table. Um, it is only working on common uh, screens like sales and purchase and document. So you will find that certain uh, certain screens will not be able to give you back what tables they are on. And in the same way, if it's a screen that doesn't even relate to any specific table, they will not be able to give you values back. But if you are, for example, on a sales order and write boy underscore table, or BOY underscore table identifier, you will see that you get ORDR, which is the header table of uh, the sales order. And the table identifier is essentially stripped away from the O uh, in here, because then you can write RDR1 for the, uh, for the items, RDR2, 3, 4, the different uh, subtables there are. There's also an extended version uh, coming later that can do a bit more. Uh, right now you can see they give exactly the same values back, but uh, you can see I write boy table here, but boy table ex here. The ex version is uh, what we call draft aware. And that is because, for example, here I have a sales order, but it's a sales order that is in draft mode right now. So essentially, went and uh, saved uh, a sales order as a draft. And if I do the same here, you will see a difference in that the tables will still give ORDR because that's for the sales order, but the table EX will give ODRF. So essentially it detects that it's in draft mode. And for that reason, it will tell you, hey, go in and uh, use the draft tables instead. Uh, and that's the specific scenario, so you can know that uh, these uh, these things will uh, be working uh, in the draft table instead. So, quite unusual, most people use boy table, but in that specific scenario, you might want to need to use DIF and the extended version. Thank you for watching. For more information about keywords, you can go to the following URL, boyom-it.com slash links slash keywords, where you find all the keywords listed. Thank you for attending and see you the next time.